I'm Kirsty. I'm not a programmer, I'm actually an English teacher, but lots of my students study things to do with computers, they're programmers, they're engineers, and I wanted to check their pronunciation with some commonly difficult words in English. So, let's go through some and practice. Firstly, some really basic technology vocabulary that I think anybody using a computer, so I expect 99% of the population, uh, need to know how to pronounce these words. So firstly, we've got keyboard, keyboard, the emphasis is on key, keyboard, then laptop, laptop, it's very important to emphasise that with your mouth, so this is my laptop, and download, upload, again the emphasis is on down, download, upload. Data. Now, even my super advanced, amazingly fluent students often pronounce this incorrectly. So listen very carefully, it's data, data. Similarly, database. And then our typical run. Now, most people know how to say this correctly, but still, you need to practice run. So let's run the install, run. The computer is running. Now, finally, schedule, schedule. I know it's spelt C-H, but it's pronounced schedule, okay? Repeat the words after me once more. So we've got keyboard, Laptop, download or upload, data, database, run and schedule. That's fantastic. Right. Now, some technology related subjects. So they're more like science, technology. So we've got engineer, 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 engineer. Okay. And the subject is engineering, engineering. Then we've got science in general and the person who does science is a scientist, scientist. The adjective, if you want that, would be scientific in a scientific journal, for example. Then we've got physics and physicist, chemistry, and the person is a chemist. Again, it's this k, it's similar to schedule. We've got chemistry, chemistry, or chemist, schedule. And then biology, biology. You've got a y, y. So biology, biology. And the person is a biologist. Okay, brilliant. Now we'll move on to some software development technology. Okay, even the title might need practice. So software development technology. Software development technology. So we've got Spring Boot. It's becoming very popular at the moment. Spring Boot. Angular. Angular. WordPress. WordPress. This is a similar sound to, in my name, Kirsty WordPress. Kirsty WordPress. If we want to drink, we are thirsty. Then we've got Python, also a type of snake. <laughs> Python, Python. And, okay, this could be Linux, Linux. I've heard various ways to pronounce this. Mm, I think most English speakers would say Linux. Some more general software development vocabulary. We've got 
template. Again, this is relevant to other things outside software as well. So template, function, method. Yeah, everybody uses different methods for anything. Um, so you don't have to be a software developer, a software developer, sorry, to have different methods. Then component, component, development, development, and the person is a developer. We'll go on to that later. Then we've got production. Again, production is important in any industry, not just technology. Finally, service. Once again, mm, service is a very general, useful word. Free software. And finally, open source. Open source. Um, now we'll move on to more software development vocabulary because there is so much uh, important vocabulary. There's so many different words. Code, compile, compile, cluster, algorithm, algorithms in plural, model, not to be confused with module, module, okay? You could have different modules and different models. Hosting and deploy and domain, okay? So if you have a website, for example, you would need a hosting and domain. The world of data, more generally, we've got data sets, big data, machine learning. This is all becoming really topical uh, as machines take over the world, even more so with the quarantine and the crisis with the virus at the moment. Uh, everything is becoming very rapidly um, controlled by machines rather than people. Okay, and then business intelligence. Business intelligence. Business is quite tricky for many nationalities. So business, business. And the person is a businessman. And in this case, business intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Or the abbreviation, the abbreviation in English is AI, 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 <laughs> AI. So artificial intelligence uh, and deep learning uh, going into this world of data and data mining, data mining. Okay, and then finally some technology jobs. So many people involved in programming and technology will want to know how to pronounce these. For example, Java developer, full stack developer, full stack developer, front end developer, and back end, front end, front end, front end, and back end, back end. DevOps, okay, I think this is a, an abbreviation as well, and system administrator, system administrator. Finally, data scientist, data scientist. Okay, and the last, last, last category, we've got development methodology vocabulary. So, continuous development, I can't say it either. <laughs> okay, right, so, Continuous delivery. <laughs> One more try. Continuous delivery. And I did not deliver it continuously. So continuous delivery. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery. With practice, we 
become perfect. We practice, but we, blah, I can't speak anymore. Okay, right, moving on. Uh, agile methodology. Agile methodology. Now, a very popular methodology uh, in many companies nowadays is Scrum. Scrum. You might see them talking about this in the very funny sitcom Silicon Valley, uh, which I would highly recommend. Um, as a non-programmer, I find it I find it entertaining too. So you don't have to understand the technology a hundred percent to get the jokes. So in Silicon Valley, they talk about Scrum. And within Scrum, we have a Scrum Master, or could, he could also be called, or she could also be called a facilitator. Facilitator. So a Scrum Master or a facilitator. Then we have our product owner, and that's the end. So thank you very much for watching. If you have reached the end of this video, congratulations. I think your pronunciation will be at least 10, 100, a million times better than before uh, for all of this technology vocabulary. Please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up uh, if you liked the video. Write any comments for more words that you are not sure how to pronounce. And I hope to see you in more videos soon. Bye bye.